kids here in this video we'll see the problem on venturi meter for that here is a question a venturi meter has its axis vertical the inlet and throat diameters being 150 mm and 75 mm respectively the throat is 225 mm above inlet and venturi meter constant is 0.96 petrol of specific gravity 0.78 flows up the meter so the flowing fluid is petrol inside the pipeline at the rate of 0.029 meter cube per second find the pressure difference between inlet and the throat so here is the question whatever is given here i'll write that in the form of data first let us get started the venturi meter is having vertical axis it means it is a vertical pipe inside which the venturi meter is connected inlet and throat diameters inlet diameter is 150 so i'll write down d1 is 150 mm area 1 area 1 is 17.67 into 10 raise to minus 3 meter square then Diameter at section 2 is 75 mm 0.075 meters Then and the throat is 225 mm above the inlet that I'll explain on the diagram of the venturi meter Next, venturi meter constant is 0.96, that is called as coefficient of discharge. CD, petrol of specific gravity, so that is the fluid which is flowing, which is petrol. So the specific gravity of F, that is the fluid is 0.78, so its density will be multiplied by 1000, that is the density of standard liquid water. So that will give me 780 kg per meter cube as the density of petrol next flows up the meter so the direction of flow is upward and at the rate of 0.029 meter cube per second so that is the actual discharge given find the pressure difference between inlet and throat so p1 minus p2 is what we have to find out here now i'll draw the diagram of the venturi meter So this is the vertical axis of the venturi meter and inside that the petrol is flowing in upward direction. So here there is inlet of petrol and this is the exit. 
next it is given here that the petrol of specific gravity 0.78 is flowing up the meter so here that meter is nothing but the venturi meter connected with the help of differential youtube manometer and we have to find out p1 minus p2 that is the difference in pressure at section 1 section 2 they have given some height in this problem here find the pressure difference between inlet and at the throat the throat is 225 mm above the inlet so throat is above and that is 225 mm distance in other words from section 1 up to section 2 the height i'll say the difference is z2 minus z1 which is 225 mm and when i convert this so that will be z2 minus z1 is 0 0.225 meters so when we have understood everything here and the actual discharge is given let us start with the solution and solution will be started from actual discharge itself so here i'll say that since actual discharge is given by cd into q theoretical which is coefficient of discharge and q theoretical will be a1 a2 root 2 gh upon root of a1 square minus a2 square now your actual discharge cd area 1 area 2 are given 2 ng are constant so i can find h so i'll keep h on one side so therefore root h will be equal to q actual multiplied by this entire root term divided by cd a1 a2 and root of 2g so therefore i'll go on putting the values actual discharge is given 0 0.029 meter cube per second so there is no need to convert it if they would have given in terms of liters per second then we would have converted it into meter cube per second so next i'll be putting the values of area 1 and area 2 cd 0.96 so from here i'll get the answer of root h as 1.49 and then to remove this root squaring on both sides so therefore i'll get h as 2.2 meter and it will be in the form of the fluid which is flowing inside the pipe so the fluid which is flowing is petrol so 2.222 meter of petrol that is h now i'll say that also h is called as difference in piezometric head and that is given as pressure head and potential head at section 1 minus pressure head and potential head at section 2 so that is called as piezometric head therefore i keep p1 p2 together z1 z2 together If I take minus common that will be z2 minus z1 now small h that is 2.22 p1 minus p2 is what we have to find out density of petrol that already I have calculated in the data it is 780 into g which is 9.81 z2 minus z1 0 0.225 meter 
From this, when I calculate, I'll get P1 minus P2 answer as 18.71 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per meter square. Dividing this by 1000 will give me 18.71 kilopascal. So that is the answer. It means the difference in pressure head between the inlet section and the throat section is 18.71 kilopascal. And with this, the problem is completed.